Oh, there it is. Hi, my name's Chris Pontius, and you're watching the Omar Gosh. Give me a kiss. What's up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Yesterday, I kept getting tagged in this post, and I guess it was a TikTok of somebody driving around a cemetery, and a ghost or what looked like a person kept popping up on their Tesla. Now, I have shown something like this before where it looked like a man appeared on my Tesla or by my Tesla, and I have footage of it. I shared it on Twitter. There's nobody there. Let's see if I could get the camera. <laughs> what? what the hell? What's going on here? Oh. Man, oh. And it was pretty freaky because there was nobody there. Now this video of this person driving around a cemetery and like a, a person kept popping up, it was it was pretty freaky. So I decided to do the very same thing. I'm at a haunted cemetery right now. I have been here before. I've only done some ghost hunting inside of the mausoleum that's here. It's a pretty cool cemetery, but we're gonna drive around and see if my Tesla can pick up on what may be like a human figure. So yeah, Teslas can see ghosts. Please. Oh yeah, look, it is. All right, do it again. You're invisible. It's not showing it. Did it show me dancing? No. Oh, it just did, me do it again. It's not showing, Tiffany. <laughs> it's not showing you. Walk around the front. Oh, there it goes, okay. See, why isn't it showing me here? It's not, yeah, it's weird. You're too invisible. I'm too big to be invisible. Maybe you really are a ghost. Maybe it's because the wrap is covering some of the sensors. I've never been to this cemetery during the day. I've never seen like a person far away. I know. Like on Maybe that video. You need to be closer. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. I did drive around around the cemetery a little bit, and of course there's no figures that are popping up on my Tesla screen. So I'm gonna see if something changes after I use the spirit box. Let's do that. Are there any spirits here that want to show themselves? That want to say something? <coughs> Bev? Is that your name, Bev? What'd that say? Dead. Dead. Why don't you show yourself here on my Tesla screen? Come say hello. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah. Are you there? Come say hello. Go. Are there any spirits here that want to say hello? Don't come. Come? Where are you at? Ghost. That's what I'm looking for. Is there a ghost here that wants to show itself? Did I just say mental break? I said something more, more ghosts. Are you here with us? I guess there's no spirits here. Leave? Are you trying to tell me to leave? Is there anything you want to tell some of your family members? I'm sure you're missed. You are loved. Is there anything out here that wants to show itself? Are there any spirits that aren't resting well? Look this way. Oh, let's go that way. Did I say demon? Oh, shit. 
I've never done this before. Like drive around a cemetery with my spirit box on. <laughs> oh no, someone's telling me to just stay right here. Ghost? What was that? Oh, it's a cone. No, 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 no. I just seen a person on there. Were you recording? Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Who are you? I see you. Why does that keep popping up? Do you see that cone keep popping up and going away? Cone? Yeah, it keeps coming up and going away. And there's no cone up there. Are there any demons here? Why don't you show yourself? I thought I seen you. I know these Teslas can sense maybe some sort of error or some sorts, but like I caught a person right behind my Tesla when I walked out and went behind the car. It was it's not there mind you i've had i don't know maybe five or six updates since then i'm not sure the video that people are sharing on tiktok if it was like a newer update i know with this new update things seem to be a little uh i mean you you've seen i had tiffany right outside of the car and it wasn't even showing her so the chances of showing any sort of i don't know figure that's walking around or well i don't know because we've been driving out in the street before and you'll see like somebody on a bike see there's a cone again and there's no cone. Maybe it's thinking that the flowers are cones. So a lot of people don't know this, and this is one of the reasons why I love, love, love my Tesla. So when you are parked, except for when you're at home, and you could, there's certain settings for it, but when you're parked somewhere, there's six cameras that are recording. As soon as the Tesla senses any sort of movement, it starts recording, like security cameras on all the cameras. There's a lot of videos on YouTube where people have caught people keying their cars, people have caught car accidents, real weird anomalies. People have even caught like strange animals around their cars so yeah these things are great I was thinking about parking my Tesla let me know if you want me to do this I'll try to make this an upcoming video I want to park it at like a very very haunted location and leave it overnight and then come back and see if I see anything strange on my footage because it gives you I think that'd be cool that'd be awesome right mm -hmm. it's called sentry mode I'm gonna probably go to a well-known really 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 haunted cemetery and see if we can do this this again. Let's do it now. Want to do it right now? Yeah. Day day. Okay. Mm. We're going to go right now. I'm not going to record the long trip there because it's going to be boring. So let's just go there instantly. This is really cool. And I never noticed this until today. And I've been in this cemetery so many times. It goes to show you if you go to places at nighttime, you should definitely go during the day because you'll, you'll miss out on things. But this is a Native American burial ground known as a mound. And that, that mound, that hump, our dead bodies that's what they would do they would just put all the bodies together i'm not 100 percent sure on you know if they like what did they do they just put bodies and then put dirt over them but yeah historical burial ground native american so we made it this is the entrance to the spring hill cemetery in brooksville florida i have to really keep an eye on that Spring Hill Cemetery is actually the cemetery that got me into doing ghost videos, believe it or not. I was just so intrigued with the history behind it. This cemetery is known as probably one of the most haunted cemeteries in all of Florida. Back in the day, it was said that they used to torture slaves and hang them from the trees where the cemetery is. And this cemetery, even till this day, is just an all African-American cemetery with some well-known people that are buried here too. I think there's a famous actor that's buried here. There's some people that have served in the war. And yeah, wow, it's all locked up now. Wow, this sucks. Can't go in there anymore. Yeah, it's all locked up now. 
Yeah, there's a legit lock. This would have been the perfect place to test this out. You know what? That tree... That tree wasn't dead last time I was here. That's new. They say that that's the tree where they used to hang people from. And they would just have them fall into a big hole. That's sad. Yeah, it is. How do I turn around? You're gonna have to back out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're just gonna have to go in reverse the whole way. Do you hear? I'm like hearing music. Not my car, it's something else. Sounds like somebody was singing or something. I could be hearing things. At nighttime, it's really scary back here because the road that the Spring Hill Cemetery goes up to is considered a haunted road too, known as Fort Dade. Uh, I did a did a couple of videos there before too. They talk about a woman that can be seen, the lady in white. I'm gonna drive really slow, see if I can see anything. Are there any spirits roaming around? Wanna show themselves? This is why they close the Spring Hill Cemetery down, because people do this. They come over here and they dump garbage. And people are still doing it, but they would do it right at the cemetery. Look at that. That's terrible. And then somebody that owns the cemetery has to come and clean that up. That's really shitty to do. Yeah, we're getting really close to this haunted road too. This road looks so creepy. So this is Fort Day Road. Wow. I love how the trees just connect with each other. Doesn't it look haunted? Like just the way it, yeah. the trees look creepy. Now across the street is also another cemetery I've been to called the Like Cemetery. And at the Like Cemetery is all Civil War soldiers where they're buried. There's some unmarked graves there too where you know there wasn't any headstones for some of the Civil War soldiers. But there's a general that's buried back there. And yeah, I have a have a video on it. I have it somewhere. It's it's buried under my videos, but pretty cool. And then we end up getting busted by the cops. It's one of my very first ghost hunting videos. I think maybe like four or five years ago. Alright fam, just got back home. I had a little bit of running around to do, so wasn't able to pick up my camera much, but I'm a little bummed out that we really didn't catch much. I mean, maybe something interesting came through the spirit box. I'm gonna have to go back on my footage. Maybe something revealed itself in the video and I don't know. Let me know here in the comments if I did miss something. When it comes to catching ghosts and doing like really cool experiments like I did, I want you to know that things like that take time, sometimes several hours, you know, to catch something. So please be patient with me. One thing I will say though is my car wasn't doing the best job with even tracking Tiffany when she was walking around, which I found a little odd. I don't know if maybe that has something to do with a recent update on my Tesla, we'll, we'll find out. But anyways, thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying these daily uploads. Make sure to smash the like button to support your boy, Omar. I am going on a trip tomorrow morning. I will be doing my very best to upload every day still. Now, when it comes to uploading on the road, I'm kind of at the mercy of the internet and internet speeds out there. I mean, sometimes we're at these hotels where they don't have the best internet. So I might be uploading maybe, you know, shorter videos, less quality so then I can get them up a little quicker. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully it's it's a good experience and you guys are still able to see me every day. Gotta go for now before we leave, give me a kiss. Peace.